Cindy at Stamps, Paper, and Ink. Welcome to my video on how I blend. You know, everyone has a different way of blending, um, and the bottom line is there's no right or wrong way. I've already begun uh, with some of these petals, but I'm going to show you this time how I've blended starting dark to light. It's the logical thing to do because these dark areas at the base of each petal are, are going to be the one that needs shading or shadow. So I'm putting down a little bit of dark, and particularly in the lines where the the stamp image already has guidelines for you. And it's adding a little bit of the medium marker now. And I'm also putting some at the top edge. The reason for this is because I want there to be mostly a light area where the curve of the flower is, because that's where the light would naturally be picking up. So you see I have a dark area at the bottom and a lighter area and then just a little bit of a, a medium border around the edge. And that's going to be my pattern here as I finish this flower. Um, I'm using a very light pressure, especially when I use the light marker. I am adding just a little bit of the medium to help it blend. You can see how they really um, do blend well and I do love these markers for coloring. Um, there are several ways to do it, and so the best way I can tell you to find out is to just play with them. Now, there is something I have discovered when using my Calypso Curl markers, and that is that one of the lids is very, very tight. So when I open it, I need to do it very far away from my project. It's this darker one. Or I will get little dots that I didn't really put on there. Okay. And also, I would never, if I wasn't on a video, be leaving the tops loosely like this. But I am just for the expediency of doing it, this video. So you can see, it, they really blend easily. There is um, a beautiful variation of color, and the shade is very, very intense. I do each petal separately because I want to blend them while they're still... Um, some moisture left to but you will find that if it doesn't if you think you see lines that are going to stand out when it's wet you may but when it dries uh, those will disappear so that's the very simple first step of how I colored and again the pattern was I began with dark in the very base of where the petals of the very base of each petal and then in the lines in between the petals I also kept some darkness and then I used medium and I filled in the middle with a light so that you would have the idea of that petal being curved. Um, as always, if you want to even highlight that white, you would use the Stampin' Blend Abilities Color Lifter. And I'll show you on one of these that I just did how you would just go in there and in one little area just lift up some of that color and it will give a little more highlight for you. How easy is that? Come back next. I'll do the leaves and I'll vary it a little bit. Instead of um, dark to light, I'm going to show you that it really makes a difference depending on what you color. So thanks for joining me. You will be able to find details about this on my blog at stampspaperning.typepad.com.